Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and today we're gonna go over some of the differences, kind of, on the AR-10 LR-308 platform, specifically their buffer systems, and some different ways that you can make it work. All right, so I know that's kind of complicated, and this whole thing is complicated, but we'll try to make it simple. We'll try, let's get into it. All right, so, if you're gonna build an AR-10, you need to go into it knowing that this is not a mil-spec project. This is not a very simple plug-and-play project. An analogy that I kind of thought up of was we all kind of know the AR-15 as quote-unquote the Lego gun or the Legos for men kind of gun. And that's true on AR-15s because they're plug-and-play. There's a mil-spec that most things all, I mean, that's how that system is set up. It's been adopted by the military. There's specifications that everything has to work that way. If it's within tolerances, it's gonna fit. Put this barrel on it, put that barrel on it, hand guards, receivers, triggers, a whole nine yards, generally, with some variations, but generally, you're gonna be good 99% across the board, all right? AR-10s, or LR-308s, depending on how you look at it, they are not the same like that. There is no generalized one mil spec, all right? You have two main patterns. You have an LR-308, right, DPMS pattern, and you have an Armalite, or an AR-10 pattern. This system that I have here, this is an Armalite AR-10 pattern. You can tell by this very distinctive angle that it has right here, all right? A DPMS, or an LR-308, that has like a traditional uh, sloping angle, right? Not sloping, but an, an, an angle, right? A curve, a curve, not hard lines, all right? That's a general way that you can identify different patterns, basically, all right? And across those patterns, there's many, there's, there's wild cards and different variations. A case in point here is this is the upper receiver that came with this, um, this, this Armalite pattern, right? And if you can tell, I changed out the handguard, and yes, the threads on the upper receiver and the threads on the barrel nut matched, but the upper receiver right here is about an eighth of an inch or something like that sh too short. It does not line up straight up across the board. It goes together, it, it functions perfectly fine, it's, it's safe to shoot, it's all that kind of stuff, but it's not lined up properly. I don't have iron sights, so it doesn't drive me nuts too much on this particular setup, I use a scope, but at some point I'm gonna have to get one because my OCD is gonna kick in, and I'm gonna have to get one that actually matches, and that's gonna be a hunt to find the correct pattern because they're not all mil-spec across the board. So, that's kind of that's kind of some differences on these systems, just a generalized 50,000 foot view or however that saying goes. But specifically today, I know I took up too much time, but specifically today, I'm gonna talk about some of the buffer systems that these systems can use and some stuff to look for, all right? So, I got this guy, right? This this receiver set, the, the set that I showed you, it's from a company called Seratac, right? And it's a, it's a Armalite AR-10 pattern, okay? And they don't even sell this thing anymore, so I have no idea where they got it. Spec data on this thing, trying to look it up since there is no listing for it anymore, was hard enough to find. But when I got this, it came with a mil spec length buffer tube, right? It's a mil spec length buffer tube, the same buffer tube that is used a lot, utilized in AR-15s just across the board, right? You can you can use this. And I was wondering about it, and when it came in, it had a mil spec spring, but it had this buffer. And if I just show you this buffer by itself, you're like, okay, that's great, it comes with a buffer. No, this is a mil-spec buffer, and this is the buffer that came with the system. As you can tell, the mil-spec buffer is significantly longer than this buffer that came with the AR-10. And you need that if you're gonna use a short or a mil-spec buffer tube, because as you should be able to tell, this AR-10 bolt carrier group is significantly longer than a mil-spec AR-15 bolt carrier group. Significantly longer. And so if you were to utilize a mil-spec buffer tube with a mil-spec buffer, right, even without the spring in there, and you take an AR-10 or an LR-308 bolt carrier group, slide that back in here, you have a huge standoff. If you try to use this system, number one, you'd have to single round feed, basically, your rifle. It wouldn't, it wouldn't cycle far enough back, the, the, the movement of the bulk hair group in the system would not go far enough back to pick up a new round. It wouldn't work properly. So it would short stroke, it just wouldn't work, all right? You need this shorter buffer to go into a mil-spec buffer tube 
if you want the system to work. As you can see here, there's a very slight gap, but it is not making contact. So this will work and it will work perfectly fine. For my purposes, I ended up going and switching out the buffer system to a slightly different buffer system. And if I just showed you this, you'd probably say this is a mil-spec buffer tube, and it's not. If I hold up a mil-spec buffer tube with this buffer tube I got from Palmetto State for their PA-10 series, if I line them up at the end of the threads, at the end at the end of, or end or beginning, however you look at it, of the buffer tube, you can tell on the bottom of the buffer tubes, there's about an inch difference, right? So you have to be careful what you're looking at. You have to be careful when you buy stuff, make sure things match. Because again, if I was to use this shorty little buffer, right, that originally came with the system thinking it's an AR-10, I'll just throw it in here. If I was to throw that in there, now he's gonna get in there and not get, and get stuck. But if I was to throw that in there and utilize the AR-10 bolt carrier group, this guy would slam all the way back into the system, beating itself to death inside the receivers and cause permanent damage and just break the gun over time. It wouldn't work properly, it would not, right? However, if I utilize, get this guy out of here. If I utilize the mil spec buffer with this slightly longer buffer tube and get that guy in there then whenever i put the uh the ar-10 bulk hair group in here you can tell he doesn't go back all the way he doesn't bottom out there's some movement there he gets very close but there's enough movement there and there's enough standoff there that he's going to cycle properly without beating himself to death Okay guys, so there you go. I know that that may have been more complicated than it needed to be, and I might have raised even more questions than I attempted to answer. But what I'm trying to tell you is AR-10s, LR-308s, DPMS pattern, armor light pattern, that 308 pattern AR system, right, is not mil-spec. If you're gonna go build one of these, it's best to either buy a complete kit and put it together, or buy a complete rifle and put it together, or you're gonna have to do a bunch of research to make sure you get the proper systems, like your handguard's gonna match, right? Your buffer system's gonna match. The handguard is not that big of a deal, but this system is a big deal. This will break your gun. If you use the wrong systems and you just mix match parts like you're used to doing with an AR-15, you'll break your system. So don't do that. Do your research. AR-10's probably not the best thing just to be your first build because it, it requires some, some knowledge and it requires some searching and some Google foo, as it were, to figure out what pieces and parts are gonna fit with your specific system. So, if you're gonna build one of these things, do your research, but do it, have fun. I, I thought it was fun. I love putting this thing together, it shoots well, it, it functions perfectly fine as long as it's put together properly. All right, that's it, Caleb Downing with SDI. Hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.